you know, just we just ready to rock and roll. Well, you know, you talk about that run game. I mean, you know, Mr. Zachary here, you know, we kidding. You lost a little weight here. You're down to three, 340 right now. But it's all yes, man. Sir. Huh? Yes, sir. But it's all man 340. You're the, you're the commander on that offensive line. What's it like to have a guy like Gibbs running, you know, you're blocking for him? Uh, well, 2-5, that's what we call him. He, he make our job easy. All we got to do is just make contact with our man. If we get to the second level, he can spring anytime. So uh, it's definitely fun having a running back who can make something out of nothing. He make guys miss. So, I mean, it makes our job easy. We don't have to do much for him, for him to break free. D, are you better run block or pass protection? Both. Yeah. yeah both. Yeah. I, I do. I do both. When you, okay, let me ask you this. And I'm, I'm, being, I'm kind of being out in left field, but I'm also kind of serious. How do you work in the off season? Do you work on footwork and technique in addition to lifting? Do you spend a lot of time watching tape? How do you get better from the last game of the season to the first game of the year? Uh, well, I'm big on technique. After the season ends, uh, I watch every game we play three or four times, and I, I see everything I did wrong, everything I feel like I could get better at. And I drill those things from January to August till we start camp. So I, I do a lot of drills. I got trainers at home. I work on my technique. And I watch a lot of film. I watch a lot of film. So Not only of yourself, but of other offenses. Of everything. I, I watch everything. I, I want to see what the whole offense is doing. I want to see what us five up front did, how we could have got better. And I communicate with my guys with stuff we need to work on as a unit, as well as myself. You said the often word from it before we get back to coach, but you said communicate. And I guess a lot of people don't really understand it at the offensive line. There's got to be a quarterback. There. There's got to be somebody that's making some calls on the line. And I'm assuming you're one of those people that will do that. So you guys have got to be that fist. And you can always tell when you got a good offensive line, can't you? Yes. We got we, we five moving as one. That's what we always say. That's the offensive line is the one position group on the football field where Everybody has to do their job completely right for it to work. You know, if a running back, you can you can make guys miss and still still have success. A receiver, you don't need your other receivers to to be great. But as an offensive line, I need the guy to my right and my left to do their job for me to be able to do my job. So we all have to be moving as one as one unit. Give your line some co love. Who's your offensive line coach? Give him a little love. Coach Dargan, the best O line coach in the conference. Definitely. Shout out to Coach Dargan. There you go. There you go. And he's talking about that offensive line. You have that balance. We got to work. And can you got Wiggins on the defensive side? Is there something that you feel like you got to do a little bit better to get you over the hump?